Greetings! In today's video, I'll be taking a look at some Schmincke paints again, but this time it's gonna be their student line of watercolor paints. Named Academy, Schmincke's watercolor student range is comprised of 24 colors, of which 16 are single pigment paints. They are available open stock or in sets of half pans or full pans, but it's easier to find in half pans. Like most student ranges, they are meant to be a stepping stone for young artists or beginners. As far as I know, these paints are difficult to find in North America. I know that in Canada, I can't easily find any of Schmincke's watercolor ranges. The paints I'll be testing in this video are half pans sent by a friend, Maria. She had extras and sent them to me. I was really curious about these paints and I'm really grateful to be able to test them. So, what makes these paints different from Schmincke's fine art watercolor range? The first difference is found in the production process. All of Schmincke's paints in pan format are poured watercolor, meaning that they fill the pans many times with the same paint they put into their tubes. The idea is to fill part of the pan, let that dry out, then add some more liquid paint, let it dry, repeat until the pan is full of dried paint. For the professional range, each pan is filled four times which takes considerable time to dry out after each pour. For the student range, the pans are filled two times only. That saves up time in drying, which then makes for less expensive paints to produce. Another difference is the number of colors offered. Academy has 24 colors and Horadam has 139. The student range will also opt for non-toxic alternatives to cadmiums, cobalt, and other toxic and expensive pigments. I compared all the 24 colors from the Academy range to the Haradam range, and they all have an equivalent in color and pigment, but often with a different name. It would seem like they use the same pigments they already have from making the professional range to make their student range. It is also worth noting that the Academy range is free of all animal products, which makes it a good option for vegans. There are also a lot of similarities between the two products. The colors are generally very light fast, with most of the 24 colors scoring very high on Schmincke's light fastness chart. The paints use natural gum arabic as a binder, which helps considerably with color vibrancy and a smooth application of color. It also helps with reactivating paint that has dried on a palette, which makes watercolor fully reusable. You can mix paints from both ranges perfectly well, so it's easy to transition to a professional set if you decide to pursue watercolor after trying out the student paints. The set of colors I have includes light lemon yellow, Indian yellow, cadmium red hue, carmine, Ultramarine, Prussian Blue, Brilliant Green, Permanent Green, Yellow Ochre, English Red, Sepia, and Black. The paints are super easy to reactivate and they are beautifully vibrant. I had two surprises while swatching. First, I didn't expect this set to have a red iron oxide, English Red, instead of a brown pigment like burnt sienna. I was also surprised by permanent green, which is a truly beautiful color and perhaps more natural than the standard bright yellow green often found in 12 colors sets. 
I'm also glad this set doesn't come with a white paint, but that's not exactly a surprise. I did a few color triads and mixes at the bottom, and the colors mixed together beautifully. The set comes with both a cool primary triad and a warm primary triad, which is the best combo to learn how to mix colors. Since I haven't seen much of these paints, I got curious to see how they compare to other student paint ranges. I have a few student and children sets, and I made a chart to quickly compare them. I also included a column for Schminke's Haradam range to see just how different the colors are from the student to the professional range. I swatched Taylor Rowney's Aquafine, Windsor and Newton's Cutman, the Kuretake pocket set, Talent's Van Gogh, the Lamy Kids paints, Reeves' 12 tablet set, and the 8 colors Gamma paints. You can see the chart here. There are two things I'd like to bring to your attention. First, how similar the colors from the Haradam and Academy ranges are to one another, but also how strong the colors from the Academy range are when compared to the other brands. Aquafine does good, which doesn't surprise me as that's its hidden secret. Cutman is, again, completely lackluster. Kuretake is average, Van Gogh is good too, and the remaining three are not exactly on par quality-wise with the other student paints. To me, Academy is the student range with bright, strong colors and smooth application. I proceeded to try those paints in a sketch. I used a photo reference from Pinterest and painted it using the Academy paints and an angled brush from Windsor & Newton Cutman. I had a great time using the paints, even if I was a bit thrown by not having a burnt sienna so I could quickly mix a dark neutral. I'll have to experiment with the reds and greens and see if I can use that as an alternative. The paints layered really well here on this mixed media paper. Thank you. 
Unfortunately, I ran out of memory card space to record the final few steps of this sketch painting, but you'll see the final painting shortly. So, do I recommend these paints? Absolutely! There's the issue of availability, of course, but if you have access to them at a good price, these are a brilliant option for a paint set. The paint is excellent, with the added bonus of being vegan. Where this range is readily available, it usually costs about half of what the professional range costs. Also, the Academy sets often feature a nice, colorful tin instead of the standard black tins. I'll include links to Western European shops that carry Academy paints in the description. I'll also have a link to an Academy listing at Jackson's that is somehow very hard to find on their site. You can also check your local Amazon, and finally eBay, though the prices on eBay are a bit absurdly inflated. Have you tried Academy paints? Can you find them easily where you live? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, have a great day, bye bye!